Hey there, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. In today's video, I am setting up my Erin Condren Focus Teacher Lesson Planner for the week. I am kicking off today's video with showing you the stickers that I will be using. And these stickers come from Simply Smith Stickers. And the name of this kit is She Believe. So this is my first time using Simply Smith stickers and I really enjoyed how this came out. Like it came out so nice. And the fact that I had so many stickers left over was really helpful because I was able to set up my A5 notebook that I use as my master checklist with some of the leftover stickers. And I still have more stickers left over. So if I wanted to use this in my work planner, I could. I really appreciate like everything that came in this kit. And when I picked it up, it was half off. So that made it even better. So I started off with whiting out the left side of the page. And I white that out because I like my dates across the top. And I also like a Sunday start. So since this is a teacher planner, it only captures Monday through Friday. And so we're just going to change the orientation up a little bit, just in case you haven't been here before. And so I start off with some washi and I'm going to put that at the top. And I'm also going to put that at the bottom. So I decided to use this, I, I guess you can call it like medium size washi at the top and the bottom because I wanted more space in this spread. The kit does come with a bottom washi, like a thicker washi, but for what I was trying to accomplish, I just needed more space and the washi sheet gives you so many options. So I decided to use medium size. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's like the correct terminology, but it's just not thin and it's not thick. So <laughs> somewhere in the middle. Um, so I decided to use that for the top and the bottom and it worked out really well. You will see me use a stencil throughout this plan with me and that stencil is from Chrissy Ann Designs and I use it to help me cut the washi. I do have rulers but I don't know I just decided to use this because it has a straight edge and I'm able to line it up against another line just to make sure that I am cutting straight because I am not good <laughs> with cutting straight um, whether it's washi or it's paper like I need a guide <laughs> I need some help So the one thing that I really like about this kit, which I mentioned before, but I feel like it bears repeating, is that there's so much in this kit that you can really use it in multiple planners or if you have a notebook, like, or if you journal, like there's so much that you can do with this kit. And even though I did bring in some additional stickers from Planner Kate and Happy Planner. Everything you need is in this kit. I really appreciate that. And I say this because before this year, I wasn't really a sticker kit kind of person. So by that, I mean, I would just buy stickers and I would pull different books together and come up with these different spreads. And it wasn't until this year that, I mean, I had always known about kits for as long as I've been in the planner community, but it wasn't until this year that I actually decided to like be intentional about purchasing kits. And for me, it's been a game changer, especially on those weeks when I don't feel like pulling out all the sticker books or all the binders because my stickers are in binders. 
Um, it's so easy and it's so helpful to be able to just pull a kit and everything is there. So when you see me tapping my fingers throughout the course of this video, that means I am thinking and I begin to work on my sidebar after laying down some thin washi across um, both pages. And, and I put that thin washi down because the top portion of the page, I typically maintain like the same information every week, like my Bible verse of the day, my exercise, like that is at the top of the page every week. Now, starting last week, I did begin adding some wacky and special holidays at the top. But otherwise, and that is my Bible scripture, my exercise, a trash day sticker, that type of information. So that's what I maintain at the top. At the bottom, it is fair game. It is whatever I want to capture, whether I fill the bottom with nothing but boxes or I add like special events or if I've done something or if I had a great call or FaceTime with a dear friend of mine, like just something, or even if I listen to a podcast, like last week I listened to a podcast and it was really good. And I said to myself, I need to make a notation of it and also save it on my phone, but it was so good. And so like things like that, when you have those moments, whether it's a podcast or your favorite song that you haven't heard in like forever, like that kind of information or somebody's birthday, somebody's anniversary, that type of information is what I capture at the bottom. So that varies from week to week, but the top portion of the page, I try to keep it consistent. On the left side of the page, which is the sidebar, I use that space to track. So I track my devotion and prayer, exercise, and my vitamins. And I draw all these lines, and I will spare you in this video from showing you all of that. But I basically just set up this tracking to track the three areas that I mentioned. And after I finish the sidebar, I will add the date headers. Now, I have to be honest with you. When I first started putting down that top washi, and then I moved down to the bottom washi, I completely forgot to add the date headers like that should have been added towards the beginning of the video. But we're here now and I realized that I was missing this information when I went to put down some of the special holidays this week. So I stopped doing that and I put down the date headers and also the dates. I used my reverse tweezers to help me put down the dates and I like a Sunday start. I think I mentioned that. And so we're starting off with Sunday. And once I put those down, I'll be able to let you know what the special holidays are for this week. So Sunday the 21st is Senior Citizens Day. Monday the 22nd is Be an Angel Day. Tuesday the 23rd is Ride Like the Wind. And then my camera went out. <laughs> and by the time I realized it had gone out, I had finished that portion. I had added the label and books at the top portion of my spread for my 
Bible verse of the day. So you will see that transition <laughs> because my camera went out. Um, but just to finish up, the last three days were Thursday the 25th, Kiss and Makeup Day, Friday the 26th, Dog Appreciation Day, and Saturday the 27th is Just Because Day. I was so in a zone that I put down stickers on Sunday and Saturday, and I do not <laughs> exercise on Sunday or Saturday. Um, not by choice. Now, if someone drags me to the mall, <laughs> then I'm walking and that will be my exercise. But I do not exercise on the weekend. And I was moving in a zone and I realized, wait a second, this is not right. So I made the adjustment. I pulled up those stickers. So I'm going to work on my sidebar one more time. <laughs> That's the joy of planning, right? Like you think you're done with the section and then you're like, wait a second, I need to add just one more sticker, just one more sticker. So I added a couple more stickers to the sidebar and I also add a sticker to Saturday. And <laughs> I also add the trash day. I'm going to set up the bottom portion of this spread.
So I decided to add some additional stickers to my spread. just making some adjustments, moving things around, just getting things in place to where I want them to be. I pull out my dot marker, I add it to Saturday below the plan next week sticker and then I also add it to the sidebar where it says to do. I also have a birthday on Friday and I remembered it. I remembered it before <laughs> I got to the end of the video, even though I do put it down at the end, I remembered. And so I put a balloon sticker and a label down for that. If you have been here for any of my plan with me's, you know, <laughs> you know that when I start cleaning my desk, this video is a wrap. As always, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and press that notification bell so that you are notified of when I have new content on YouTube. On screen, you will see another video or two that you might enjoy. Again, thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.